Hey guys, I'm Rohan King, and in this video, we are going to solve hacker and save humanity problem. So according to this problem, the mankind is in trouble again. This time, it is deadly disease spreading at a rate that never seen before, like corona in our current situation. The need of the hour is to set up an efficient virus detector. You are the lead at the central hospital, and you need to find a fast and reliable way to detect the footprints of the virus DNA in that of the patient. Okay. The DNA of the patient as well as virus consists of the lowercase letter. Since the collected data is raw, there may be some errors. You need to find all substrates in the patient DNA that either exactly match the virus DNA or have at most one mismatch. That is a difference in at most one location. Okay. There is an example also which says that AA and AA are matching. That is perfect matching. And AB and AA are matching, while ABB and BAB are not matching. So. I will explain you why A, B, and A are matching because there is only one mismatch of B and A. Okay, and in the case of A, B, B, and B, A, B, there are two mismatch. You can see in the place of A there is B, in the place of B there is A. That means there are two mismatch, so it will not match. Okay. So this is our coding section, and we need to complete this virus and disease function in order to solve this problem. So, okay. First of all, we will take the case in which. The length of the virus DNA is greater than the length of the patient DNA. That means there will be no matching because we need to find the virus DNA inside the patient DNA. And if the length of the virus DNA is greater than the patient DNA, then there will be no matching. This can be easily understood from the example running on your screen. So in that case, we will return no match found or no match. This message we will return. Now, if this condition does not satisfy, then we will come to the else case. And here. We need to traverse to the patient DNA in order to find the virus DNA inside the patient DNA. So for that, we will use a for loop. So for i in range length of patient minus length of virus plus one. So okay, it is complicated. So I will explain you why we have done this. So our for loop starts from zero and go up to the Length of patient minus length of virus plus one. We here we have used plus one because the last index is excluded from the for loop, and the first alphabet in the the foremost case will be the length of p minus length of v. This can be easily understood from the example running on your screen. You can clearly see that the first alphabet of the virus, if possible, at the last case will start from the position length of p minus length of v. So okay. So now, if we will start traversing, then here we will create a temporary substring which will be taken from the patient DNA. So P, and here the substring will start from I, okay, and its length will be of the size of the virus. So I plus length of virus. So it will be a substring which will be taken from the patient DNA, and now this substring will be. Send to a match function where it will be compared with the virus string. So inside this match function, we will send this temporary substring and the virus DNA. So there will be matching, and the result will send back to here. So the result will be stored in, let's say, as a flag. Okay. So if the match is true, then the flag will be true. Otherwise, the flag will be false. So if flag, that means if the match is perfect then we will add this index that means i index into our result so first of all we need to declare the result so we will take res equal to okay and empty substring string okay so if the flag is true then our res will be plus equal to str of i Plus i space. So our res, that means the result will be equal to the previous result if there are any previous indexes plus the current index which is i and with a space. So okay. Then we will come out of this for loop. Then we will have all the indexes where the virus DNA starts in the patient DNA. So we will check if the length of our res. Is zero. That means there is no match found. Then, in that case, we will return no match. No match. Otherwise, we will return our result. And our result will be sorry. The else case, we will return 
our res and as we have add an additional space after each index so we will need to strip the space of the last one so we will use a strip function so it will remove the extra spaces okay so this is till now it's perfect now we need to define this match function so that we can compare both the substring and the virus so now we will define this match function here so we will remove these comments okay so we will define a function named match okay so here we have two parameters the one will be let's say as w1 will be the first string or word and then w2 okay so it will be easy so okay first of all we will define a counter because according to our problem there can be only one mismatch and if there are more than one mismatch then it will not be matched okay so okay now we will use a for loop so for i in range length of you can take anything let's say w1 because both have the same length w1 and w2 both are of same length so okay for i in range length of w1 okay so we will traverse through w1 and check if w1 of i does not equal to w2 of i that means if there is a mismatch then we will increase the counter by one so counter will be plus equal to one okay now here is one more thing that if the counter is greater than one that means if the counter is greater than one that means there is more than one mismatch and if this is so then we will just simply return zero and this zero will be stored in the flag and then if condition flag will be false okay so this is the logic and if the counter it does not equal to so it does not greater than one that means it is a perfect match so when we will come out of this for loop then here we will return one or you can say true so this is our basic code but there is one more thing to know that this match function will work up to the length of 10 that means if the substring length or the length of the virus is of 10 then it will work but if the length of virus dna or the substring is greater than 10 then we need to do a recursion so that we will use a recursion function so we will define uh, let's say as so we will rename this as let's say a small match okay because it is for the smaller match and we will call this bigger function as the match function okay similarly w1 and w2 will be the parameters okay so here we will take the length it will be the length of w1 or w2 you can take anyone and here we will check if the length is get less than 10 if the length is get less than 10 then we will pass it to the small match function so a small match and here we'll pass the w1 and w2 okay and we will return the result to the calling if it is not so then we need to define a recursion function and for that we need to break the substring that means w1 and the virus that means w2 that means we need to break the w1 and the w2 so let's name as them w1 ka part 1 w1 part 1 will be equal to the w1 of from starting to the length by 2 okay so there will be an integer division okay and w1 of part 2 will be equal to w1 of length of part length by 2 till the n similarly this will happen for the w2 so w2 part 1 will be equal to w2 okay from initial to the length by 2 okay and w2 part 2 will be equal to the w2 of from length by 2 to last so this is the basic one and now so for the comparison we need to compare w11 with w21 and w12 with w22 so there is a lot more confusion to make it more clear we will just divide it into the section so we will call section 1 
and it will be equal to w11 equal equal to w21 okay so we will call w11 equal equal w22 as s1 that means it will be a section 1 and our section 2 will be equal to we will call w21 sorry w12 equal equal to w22 so we will uh, call w11 equal w21 as s1 and w12 equal equal w22 as s2 now we will use our if condition so if s1 and s2 that means if both are true then we will just simply return true that means 1 okay otherwise we will use elif condition and in the elif condition we will check that if first section is true and other section is not that means not s2 that means s1 is true but s2 is not true then we will again this pass this to return a small match and here we will pass w12 comma w22 that means section 2 okay and then again we will use elif condition if not s1 and s2 that means the first section is false and the second section is true in that case we will return a small match and here we will pass w11 w21 okay and at last if all this condition does not satisfy then we will come to the l section and here we will just return zero okay so we will pass this function inside the print function so we will print just simply so okay we have got the problem so the problem lies here it will be a match because we are doing recursion not we are calling the small match function so it will be only match and now when we will run this code then it will be okay running and when we will submit this so okay so, okay test five test case five four six two more left one more left okay so all the test cases have been passed so here what we have done we have just changed the small match with the match because we are doing the recursion we are not calling the other function we are calling the same function again and again if this video was informative to you then our subscription will be massively appreciated with that said thank you for watching my name is sachin this is june king sachin see you in the next one peace